Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how we can create a trajectory effect, trajectory line effect in our ball and move our ball with mouse drag. So first I will show you how it look like. Now you see that with my mouse when I click the trajectory line sorry trajectory line move with mouse movement and when I leave mouse you see that the ball is moved in the direction of line I also use the line render and tray render to show some effect on it so first i will show you how we create this type of scene so let's get started first i have created a simple bottom scene with box sprite and attach a box collider 2d with it and copy this bottom and move it to the top and same for left and right side the next scene Sprite is our ball that I have get from internet and I am use a script, a line render and a tray render with it. So first I will show you I have create a attach sorry I have attached a circle to logic to the with it and give a physics material to it and give the bounciness to 0 0.56 so when we our ball is collided with any collider it will act like a ball <coughs> sorry for that and next thing is for real body 2d and a line rendered component i have changed its width to 0 0.5 and change the line position and I have attach a material to it simply right click create material and change type to <coughs> only and transparent cut out and in texture I have get this arrow sprite and simply you have to click on repeat and apply by default is clamp you can click on repeat and apply then go to the material and drag and drop this sprite in our material now you see that it will create a material for us now go to line render and drag and drop this material and change the texture mode to now this is for line rendered the other component that we have used is the trail render this component I have attached simply and change its color to use a gradient for it and change the time to 0 0.5 now the trade and will work fine for us now let's go to the script side i have attached a script name it trajectory line now double click open it in unity first i have create a power name it public float power is equal to 5 component line and name it ella rigid body rb vector to start drag position so we can note our drag position when we click our mouse and drag the mouse in start simply get lr is equal to get component line render rb is equal to get component rigid body in update method simply if input dot get mouse button down we have to note the 
starting uh, point of our mouse so simply start drag position is equal to camera dot main dot screen to word point and get the input dot mouse position if input dot get mouse button so when we click we have enable our line render so lr dot enable is equal to true now let's go to the next side to get the end position of our drag now vector to end drag position name it pose is equal to camera dot main dot screen to word point dot input dot mouse position vector to underscore velocity is equal to end drag position minus start position so we will get the desired line and multiply it with power now i have created a vector to array to get to create the trajectory line simply vector to trajectory is equal to plot rb vector to transform dot position velocity and power is 500 this is the function that i have created i will show this function in later lr dot position count is equal to trajectory dot length that we have give to our trajectory line vector 3 positions is equal to new vector 3 trajectory dot length then we have run a loop so we can create our trajectory line for int j is equal to 0 j is less than trajectory dot length j plus plus position j is equal to j trajectory j then outside of loop lr dot set position give the positions to our line else lr dot <coughs> Unable is equal to false. Then if input dot get mouse button up, when we leave our mouse, we have give the end drag simply vector to end drag position is equal to camera dot main dot screen to word point input dot position vector to velocity is equal to end drag position minus start drag pose multiply with power rb dot velocity is equal to vector velocity underscore velocity so we can move our ball now let's go to the function side that we have created name it plot simply vector to array plot get uh, the component rigid body vector to position vector to velocity and steps so how many steps we want to create our line vector to result is equal to new vector to steps float time step is equal to time dot fix delta time divided by fix to dot velocity iterations so we will get the time steps now vector to gravity x is equal to physics to the dot gravity multiply it with rigid body dot gravity scale multiply with time steps and time step we have multiplied with double time so we will get the gravity scale you can multiply it with single time as you wish float drag is equal to 1f minus time step multiply with weird body dot drag then vector to move step is equal to velocity multiply with time step now let's go to the loop and create the points simply for int j is equal to 0 j is less than steps and j plus move step plus gravity axle move step multiply it with drag position plus is equal to move step then create result into j is equal to position so we can create the trajectory in our position and result uh, return result now this is the skip that i have done simply save this skip let's go to the Unity drag and drop this clip to our ball and change its power. I have changed it to 9 or 8 something. Now let's play and see how it works. Now you see that when I move mouse, the ball will move and our tail render will also work. If you 
have any question or suggestion you can leave a comment if you like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video